to start a test, we go into the scan button. You have options on how you'd like to view your information. Let's quickly go to the data screen. Here, as you can see, we have the channel numbers, the readings, and the timestamp of the data is being taken. We can go to the statistics portion and view the, the various statistics that are being recorded uh, on these channels. Here we have the average, the maximum, the minimum, the peak to peak value, the standard deviation, and the rate of change. The rate of change can be set for hour or minute. We also have a graph view that we're able to see with the 2638. So by pressing graph, we have a graph selection uh, of the active channels. We can graph up to four channels of any of the active channels in the system. So let's select channel one, channel two, three, and four. It's best when graphing with the 2638 that all channels you choose to graph are in the same units. In other words, temperature or AC volts. We're able to go in on this graph and do manual scaling. We can zoom in, zoom out, and move the graph up and down. We also have a history mode. So after we've collected data for a particular period of time, we can go through and scroll back through time to view the, the chart and the trends as they happened. The other way to view this data is through a monitor mode here under F5. In the monitor mode, you view the individual value for the channel on any one channel at a time. You can also view immediately the statistics on that channel, including rate of change, peak to peak, and, and others, the standard deviation, for example. Okay, let's pause or let's stop the, the scan session. Confirm. So let's go to the memory section. Let's take a look at the internal files we just collected. As you can see, they, we have setup files, scan data files, and DMM files, which we'll speak about in a, in a moment. I'd like to go to the scan data files. I'll select that. Here are the scan data files that are within this 2638. So you can see the one we just did is at the top of the list, and the setup file name is there, val underscore test. I'd like to move that data to my PC for further analysis. I push Manage, I insert my USB, and I wait for the 2638 to recognize it. And I simply copy to the USB. I can choose a different name or keep the same file name we have now. Push Save, and we'll copy it to the, to the uh, USB. It says Copy Complete. At this point, I remove my USB and take that to my PC for analysis. Mm -hmm.